Hello everyone, welcome to this short tutorial on AWS. Today we're going to be talking about the AWS Lambda Power Tuner. Now the AWS Lambda Power Tuner is a state machine that uses AWS step functions to recommend the ideal settings, the ideal memory settings for your Lambda functions. So to use the AWS Lambda Power Tuner or just the Power Tuner, you want to head over to the serverless application repository and you want to click on this browse all applications button. In the search bar, you want to go ahead and type in AWS Lambda dash power and it should pop up and it's right here, AWS Lambda power tuning. You want to click on this right here. This is going to bring up the readme for the power tuner. If you scroll down, you can understand or learn a little bit more about the power tuner and you can see that the state machine takes a JSON object with the required properties. Most important being the ARN for your Lambda function, the power values, this is going to be the memory that you want to test your Lambda function at, and the strategy. Now some other values you can supply here for strategy are cost, speed, or balance. Okay, so if you want to learn a little bit more, you just go over and uh, check out this README. So we're going to go ahead and deploy this uh, power tuner here into our AWS account. To do that, we just click deploy. And we want to scroll down to the bottom, keep all the default settings here, and then click on this I acknowledge and hit deploy. Now this may take a few seconds, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, and once everything is set up, we'll go ahead and get back to it. Okay, so it looks like our uh, state machine or our power tuner is ready to go. So we want to scroll all the way down here to the bottom, and we want to click on this power tuning state machine. This is going to bring up the step function console for the state machine. And over here to the right, we want to click on Start Execution. This is going to bring up a pop-up that's going to ask you for the JSON object. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, JSON object that was in the README. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. And I'm going to paste this right here. The only thing I'm going to change, I'm going to keep all the default values, and the only thing I'm going to change here is the ARR the ARN, excuse me. And I have a ARN here, or a Lambda function. And I'm going to use this Lambda function ARN. Now what this Lambda function does, it just takes this Q, this URL, excuse me, and it creates a QR code for it. So <clears throat> I'm going to paste that in there for the Lambda ARN, and then I'm going to click Start Execution. Now this is going to initialize the state machine. <clears throat> and as we can see here, the state machine has been initialized. Now this may take a few seconds, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the value or pause the video, and once it's done, we'll get right back to it. Alright, so it looks like our state machine is finished executing, and to see the results, we can scroll up to the top here and we can click on this tab execution input and output. Now over to the right. You can see the results for, uh, from the execution. The power is the, um, the memory that, it, that the uh, power tuner is recommending for our Lambda function. So this QR creator uh, Lambda function here that uh, I used um, the ARN or that I grabbed the ARN from. Uh, some other values are costs, um, duration, uh, lambda costs, execution costs, and it also supplies uh, a visualization chart that you can use to kind of visualize the whole um, execution process. Now since my strategy was set to cost, this lowest point right here is going to be my 124 meg uh, or memory. And as you can see here, it took about um, 
10 milliseconds and this here was the cause uh, with that memory setting. Okay, so this is the AWS Power Tuner. And if you're deploying any type of uh, Lambda functions into production, I definitely recommend that you give this a uh, checkout. All right, and as always, take care. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out.